Roku now has its own brand of TVs? Yeah, that's apparently a thing. Welcome back everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison and I am mighty busy here at CES right now. I'm actually recording this in between stops from one TV brand to another TV brand to bring you this news about Roku that I have been sitting on for several weeks right now. We were not allowed to film. Uh, when we went down to Roku. No pictures, no video, which makes the story a little bit harder to tell, at least from a visual perspective. But by the time this video goes live, Roku will have announced that it is putting out its own brand of TVs. And for those of you who kind of follow TVs, you can see how that can be a very interesting proposition because Roku has a ton of what we call OEM manufacturing partners that use the Roku OS in their TVs. And we know that TCL has produced TVs on the Roku platform. We know Hisense has also produced TVs on the Roku platform. On the face of it, it may just seem like Roku OS is the, you know, the user interface, the streaming interface built in the TV. It's actually quite a bit more complicated than that, as I learned when I visited Roku a few weeks ago. So it turns out that Roku actually makes an entire blueprint for a TV. They basically hand the, the plants over to the manufacturer, and the manufacturer can decide where they you know, pull the parts from. Maybe they make them themselves, maybe they buy them off the shelf from somebody else, and then they assemble the TV, but it's basically fully detailed by Roku, from the power supply up to the screen and everything in between, right where you put all the boards and all that stuff. It's a blueprint for a TV. And Roku takes panels from these manufacturers and they basically program uh, their interface to work with that particular panel. So Roku is a lot more to do with the picture quality uh, of that particular TV than we may have originally thought. Let's move on to the next topic. I can't exactly say who, but I imagine you can probably figure this out. Roku has designed an OLED television. They have a blueprint for an OLED TV. They're ready to hand that out, and whichever manufacturing partner they want can make that OLED TV. Uh, I have to remain silent on that until that announcement is officially made, but I think you can probably figure it out. And we're just talking about OLED, broadly speaking, but that could also be QD OLED, which is technically an OLED TV. So connect the dots, and I think you know where we're going with this. Uh, the other thing that I find interesting um, is that, you know, TCL has historically been kind of going back and forth between uh, doing a Google TV and a Roku TV. They've, they've partnered with both, uh, but they haven't ever released uh, a TV on uh, their, their platform or according to their, you know, 4 Series, 5 Series, 6 Series, um, both Roku and Google at the same time. Technically, they would be in a Google uh, time period right now. Like, so we would expect the, the next TV wave to come from TCL as a Google TV. Will they go back and do Roku TVs after Roku is making its own that TCL is making for them? I mean, strange bedfellows, right? It opens up a lot of questions, but also Roku is going to have its own TV out there. How good will they be? I actually have a fair amount of confidence that they're going to be pretty good. I don't think that they're necessarily going to be the third tier TVs that we're used to seeing from brands like Insignia, for instance, uh, the Best Buy brand, right? Um, or a Toshiba or, you know, insert third tier TV brand here. I think they're going to be on the same level that we've seen from Hisense and TCL. To what degree? Uh, that remains to be seen, but this, no doubt, is some big news and it has big implications. But I hope you can appreciate that this is kind of meaningful news and it's going to have a ripple effect, I think, on the industry. It'll be something that we get to talk about for the rest of the year, so look forward to that uh, coming in 2023. Definitely exciting, makes CES a little bit more spicy for me, that's for sure. Anyway, if you're not already subscribed and following the channel, please do so. We've got so much more coming from CES 2023. I'm Caleb Dennison, and I'll see you on the next one.